a resolution to the problems in the Middle East. For this reason, a delegation of young liberal political leaders, mostly from Europe, sponsored by the German Frederick Naumann Foundation, came to visit Israel and the Palestinian Authority to see the roots and complexities of the conflict in their own eyes. We asked the participants of this seminar for their ideas. Before I came here, I thought this conflict would be easy to solve with having using your brain and politics a little more than I think using your feelings. But I must admit that this conflict is actually much more complex than I could imagine. With such an old conflict, we wanted to know the meaning and importance of such a young delegation. The coming generations is the generations who shall live in this society in the future. And I think, therefore, they are willing to have a larger uh, discussion about what to do before bringing peace. They will not point fingers at each other. They will rather shake the, each other's hands because their kids and their, genera their the generations that they will bring to life in the future. The more I get to know, the more difficult it gets to take a position myself because, of course, when you have a very superficial insight on any topic, uh, you tend to take a position more easily than when you get to know more and more details. Here, visiting the security barrier, we can see the tensions running high between those who are in favor and those who are not. I, want, I don't want peace. I don't want to die. I don't want to die. You're going to die the way this is going. I'm sorry. It's creating I told you, every time Palestinians say peace, I do like that. But what sort of This is what I do. We have never offered real peace. Every time I hear Palestinians say peace, I think the conflict is one of the main drivers in everyday life in Israel and in Palestine. And um, it is very important, it's very crucial for both societies that it's going to be resolved very soon. The democratization of society can be a very, very good way to that. What I really like in Israel is that it doesn't matter on which side you are, but you can always state your opinion freely. And I've talked to so many people who are either on the right wing or consider themselves on the left wing, but you see the entire spectrum. And I would really like the Palestinian society um, and the, which is as pluralistic as the Israeli one, also to be as pluralistically outspoken. Uh, yesterday we were on a tour in the old city of Jerusalem uh, and the Jewish quarters of Jerusalem, and today we've been to see uh, the security wall, um, both in a Palestinian zone and in an Israeli zone. What I guess has surprised me the most is how peaceful things seem <laughs> when there's not something dramatic going on. I mean, people have their everyday lives, which is good. In spite of many different opinions about the diverse aspects of the conflict, there is one thing the whole group agrees upon. The news don't tell the whole picture. Do not believe in everything you see in the media. Take the time and find more detailed information and to make, your, make up your mind. Which will be your solution or your proposal for this complex conflict? Well, I, I, I had hoped not to, to answer that question until in, in two days, <laughs> but I, I, really, I really don't know. <laughs> From the city of Bejala, this has been Patricio Abramson for InfoLive TV.